Amid the ongoing allegations against David Dobrik, many other YouTubers have spoken out about their unpleasant and negative experiences with him in the past. So were the warning signs there all along? Let's break it down. Every week it seems more and more damaging accusations against YouTuber David Dobrik continue to surface, which has caused his entire image and digital empire to collapse. Although issues among his style of content creation have been present for years, they just began to go public about a month ago, when former Vlog Squad member Seth Francois spoke out about his negative experiences filming with David, alleging that he tricked Seth into kissing Vlog Squad member Jason Nash without consent. More allegations were then brought to light, including the those of sexual misconduct and even rape among members of the vlog squad, which resulted in David being dropped from many of his biggest sponsors, including HelloFresh, Dollar Shave Club, EA Sports, DoorDash, General Mills, HBO Max, Facebook and Audible, just to name a few. David even stepped down from the photo sharing app Dispo in which he co-founded after the app's rating dropped below two stars due to fans berating the review section. Things only got worse when he attempted to apologize twice via YouTube videos but was criticized after titling his first video Let's Talk but disabling the comments. David and his vlog squad are more commonly known for acting out extreme stunts in their videos, and some of which were clearly taken too far. Exhibit A, vlog squad member Jeff Wittek's devastating facial injuries. In a series of new videos posted to YouTube for his new series, Don't Try This At Home, Jeff detailed the harrowing incident involving an excavator, which David was steering while he swung on a rope above a shallow lake. After being swung way too fast, Jeff ended up suffering multiple skull fractures and lacerations to his face and body. Aside from the physical damage, Jeff also detailed the emotional and mental complications, especially after opening social media after the accident, to see David being praised for something he did that week. Jeff said, quote, It made me resent him. It made me resent seeing his face. It made me not want to go online. It made me not want to open up YouTube. It just put me in a bad place. Jeff also explained that after David visited him in the hospital once, he felt abandoned by David, as he hadn't checked up on him since. Although David has yet to speak out about Jeff's claims, it seems Jeff isn't the only one who thinks David takes things too far, as many recalled a similar comment made by Karina in the same video when being swung too fast. She's like, you take things too far, David. Since then, Twitter account Def Noodles posted a resurfaced clip of Vlog Squad member Jonah Antonian last year, admitting that he too almost died doing a stunt involving driving a moped off a half pipe into a pool. Although Jonah didn't place the blame on David for making him do the stunt, many fans were furious when tuning into David's apology, where he claims that he would quote, never put his friends in situations that I wouldn't do myself. Fans might recall that this was one of the many incidents Trisha Paytas tried for years to warn about David and the vlog squad. Trisha has tearfully claimed that she had tea to spill on David after she and then boyfriend Jason Nash broke up. While telling fans what led to the split, she claimed that David forced Jason to break up with her, saying, quote, David is on a whole other level of being an actual horrible person. Trisha's biggest beef she has with David is over a clip he included in one of his vlogs, where he jokes that Jason should get Tana Mojo to hook up with him and Trisha, which was an uncomfortable situation given Tana's age gap of 25 years with Jason and 10 years with Trisha. Trisha has dedicated a number of videos to David and the vlog squad, telling fans stories about why they ruined her life, why David is a horrible person, and has even accused him of using other content creators for vlogging before kicking them to the curb. Even one of the vlog squad's original members, Gabby Hanna, admitted to leaving the group back in 2017 after just growing apart from the squad. She said, quote, I think it's important for everyone to understand that in life, people just grow apart and that doesn't mean that something awful is going on. I need to be focusing my energy in the studio on writing, working on my fitness, working on my mental health. More recently, a video compilation of David body shaming Gabby resurfaced, where he gives her diet pills and continues to joke about her appearance. Wait, it's something I've needed? You've definitely needed it. We've all kind of talked about it. Are these? Diet pills? Back in March, Twitter was convinced that Gabby was referring to David when she wrote this tweet. I'm about to get into some legal trouble and I'm gonna f***ing like it. 
Gabby likely didn't sue David, especially after she admitted to Entertainment Tonight that there's no beef between them. Regardless, many had rushed to Gabby's support after also noticing how the vlog squad treated her, tweeting comments like, No one is perfect, but nobody, not a single soul deserves this type of treatment. And this is how people get insecure about themselves, constant jokes about their appearance, weight, etc. These allegations, as well as the many others circulating, are a result of much bigger issues, stemming from the fact that David has gotten away with his actions for years, with little to no consequences, treating people with such disrespect. That said, last month, Bretman Rock took to his Instagram stories to spill some serious tea about the time that he met David during the 2019 People's Choice Awards and was made to feel so irrelevant. After winning Beauty Influencer of the Year, Bretman recalled David allegedly coming up to him and basically interrogating him about who he was and what he won. I wasn't even talking to him and he just goes up to me and he's like, who are you? What do you do? What did you win? Obviously, Bretman wasn't pleased with David's questioning and couldn't believe what he was hearing, especially considering his father sadly passed away the day before. Bretman revealed that he hadn't shared this story until now, knowing that David has been cancelled and clearly wasn't too surprised about that fact. David has not yet spoken out since issuing his second apology back in March, but should he further address these allegations anytime soon, we'll do our best to keep you guys posted. And to see where Jeff's friendship with David now stands following his surgery, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know your thoughts on these growing accusations against David in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.